I'm back again with part two of the loaded pocket and a big hello to Maureen if you're watching. Hi, Ma Hi Maureen. I had so much fun making this and I hope you can see um, the love I've put into it. So this is part two. So these colours are more neutrals. So it's got a closure of lace and seam binding. Now these gorgeous papers that have made this trifold flip out I'll call it a trifold flip out. We're from the lovely Siobhan in Ireland. Pearl and button on YouTube. So hi Siobhan. Thanks so much. These papers were just perfect for the back of this. And um, so let's have a look. Uh, this was a Stemperia paper. And I've just done one of those scrappy um, journal um, booklets. Um, for um, note taking with some pianola roll paper and some other um, lovely lovely papers um, in this pocket it was another one of the Stamperia papers I've added um, a little um, die cut of a perfume bottle and a corset die Thank you for that, Tracy. Tracy, I went to her house the other day and cut those out. Wonderful. Thank you. Perfect. And I, Tracy, and um, these papers here are from Kaiser Craft. And they are the Betsy's Couture Collection from Kaiser Craft. And um, just all the lovely images. Perfect. And the only other papers you'll see later that I've used are from Prima. And I'll point those out when I get to them. And just uh, a tag. So they all pop back in there. I've got this tassel that I've made. And let's have a look inside. And then on the bottom, as you can see, there's all these layers and layers of laces that are on the flip outs. So... I hope the camera's pop showing that. Let's have a look. So this flips over. And in here we have lots of little um, tags. This is made from pianola paper. And I love that quote. True beauty in a woman is reflected in her soul. Uh, the lovely blue that I've got there was from Siobhan in Ireland. She sent me some beautiful tea dyed and other beautifully dyed um, doilies so I've used that on that one these are the Prima papers um, some more little tags Kaiser Craft and this one I've made a little locket this side I kind of felt was like the maid she was responsible for um, different the day-to-day -day life of um, looking after the lady that she um, would take care of. So I've, I've just added things that she might have come across in her day-to-day -day life. This side, perhaps too, in her day-to-day -day life, she had to take the children for a walk. And um, this beautiful... Um, it's, it's an altered tea bag and also sent to me from the lovely Siobhan in Ireland and she tea dyed it and then um, she um, gifted me one and, um, and then I made my own from her um, example and it's a, a lovely little girl um, that may have been in the lady's care just some little laces down the bottom and it's just pinned to the side there I hope I'm in frame. There we are. And then this side flips out. And I love the Stemperia papers here. It's like a gate. So this is the maid. She's walking through the park. And these are the things she might come across. Uh, a man. Um, he actually says blind on that. He's a blind man. And um, it's like the gate continues. I thought that was a perfect match. Um, and they've just got some lovely papers all sewn around the edges. They might come across a wedding in the park. And um, some, some gardens in the park. That's on pianola paper and old vintage music papers. 
and they also might come across oh these are some other things she might be responsible for the lockets again another locket with the lady uh, corset perfume bottle that might be things they were getting ready for the wedding with um, the story is falling down sorry sorry ladies <laughs> um, so that's that that's that um, flip out oops They've flipped out all right. Pop them back in there. Now, there's also a little secret spot here. And if you can see here, I've Velcroed this part on the back. So if you un-Velcro it you're, and you flip it over, you're then going to have a little mini journal. So in here, I've got a little postcard, an, em an envelope with a little postcard, another perfume bottle. I really love those perfume bottles. I enjoyed making them quite a bit of fun. I think I might even spray some perfume on them, Maureen, so you'll get some hints of fragrances. Um, another, that, These are Prima papers, this one, these ones. This is still the Stemperia, the beautiful old lace, Stemperia papers. Um, a tag with these sweet little um, boot charms, some pair of boots, and just some fibres. Um, some other tags, and just a simple little um, ripped pocket, stamped. I've done some stenciling, I um, have some stamps, and I've just, um, this one says beauty. Some pianola paper inked up and a um, music paper ruffle. That one says Grace, another um, pianola roll paper ruffle and some ribbon. I've done some feathers on a die cut and tea dyed um, doily also from Siobhan. Some vintage music paper again stenciled passion that one says. This one says style, I've added some washi. Now, they may have also gone to the gallery and in the gallery they might have seen some Regency pictures, some artwork. So, um, on the centre strings I've added some lovely pearls. And then this um, poem is in the Victorian period of 1844 to 90, John Boyle O'Reilly. And it's about a white rose and there's a flip up and you can see the lovely pieces of um, vases that they had underneath there. Oh, excuse my belly rumbling. Um, some corset washi, vintage music paper, another, um, this lace is from the 1930s. It's some um, beautiful, um, delicate lace. Some more stenciling with lo lovely roses. This one says elegance. And another little tag, this little tea dyed paddy pen paper was from Siobhan again. So very thankful for those little extra um, little things she sent me that I'm using. And just another little tag. So that's the little mini journal that the maid might have written her daily things in. And then here we also have a little pocket. And there's some lovely um, dresses. And they're just held with a little bit of um, silk um, ribbon on a tiny baby paper clip. So that's, that's, that's my loaded pocket. So that's the back of it. Thank you for watching part two. And, um, oh, I forgot this part. And then when it attaches back, um, I've just got this beautiful sari trim ribbon. And I've put this picture of this very elegant lady in the back. And then Maureen, I've put a little note in there for you. And um, yes, as I said, I had so much fun making it. And thank you for swapping with me. And I've really enjoyed it. I will put this all back together. And I will get this posted off to you tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Bye.